In this lesson, I'm gonna show you the AOVs that we are going to need in order to make our final composition. So uh, we're gonna go to the render settings and to AOVs. The first one I'm gonna create it's, is the position pass. And uh, I'm gonna make a preview render. And just double check that it's working fine. It's looking good. Now, uh, the second uh, pass, AOVs that we're gonna make is the UV pass. For that, I'm gonna make a custom AOV. I'm gonna name it UV pass. And I'm gonna apply the shader to it. So if I type AI utility, and change the shading mode to flat so it won't be affected by, by affected by any light and choose UV coordinates you will see that we have the UVs uh, in in the face the body and also the UDIMs so we can work with that later the third one I'm gonna make uh, the normal pass and I'm also gonna need a shader, same utility shader, but instead of using the UV coordinates, I will use the normal color mode. Just double check that it's working. And it's perfect, looking good. So I'm gonna apply also a motion vector pass. For this one, just to show you how it works, I'm gonna jump into one of the first frames, the one that is moving quite a bit. I'm gonna render it. As you can see, is it has not motion blur, and we're gonna enable it. So if you go to the motion blur tab, enable, we're gonna see that now we have motion blur. We can increase it increase the length or decrease it um, okay 0 0.5 the default volume is it's okay but as you can see in the motion vector uh, AOVs it also has the motion blur applied to it and we don't want that we want to apply the motion blur after the render so I'm gonna ignore the motion blur in the diagnostic tab. And now you can see that the motion, motion vector information has been applied, but without a motion blur. So that's where, what we are looking for. Okay. Finally, I'm gonna include a deep, no, a deep uh, pass deep AOV, so I'm gonna create an additional AOV and uh, instead of using the default driver EXR, I'm gonna create a new driver which is gonna be deep. So this will create a separate EXR if, if we check merge AOVs, all the AOVs are gonna be in the same EXR merged together except for this one. This is gonna be a separate EXR and I'm gonna show you in the composition uh, section how to apply a depth of field to, to our final comp using this deep AOV.